Thank you for stopping by. My name is Amy. If this is the first time you stopped by my channel, thank you and welcome. Today's project pan update is for my whole collection project pan. I'm struggling with this one. I'm very overwhelmed in my makeup collection and I've been bringing a whole lot more in which is really been tough on me. I don't know why I keep bringing stuff in other than the fact that shop therapy. I've talked more about this in my get ready with me so I'll link that down below if you want to know more about how I've been feeling and what I'm thinking about with this project. Basically I am not getting the chance to put on makeup as much as I would like but I really need to get through my makeup collection so I can weed out the ones that I don't want. So far everything I've put in I've enjoyed so they're staying and I've run out of room in my drawers to put makeup in so we need to figure something out so if you have any suggestions other than the fact wear more makeup Amy put it on more often I would if I could trust me I I have a lot going on I'm exhausted so makeup has kind of been put to the back burner I wish it didn't have to but it has until things calm down and things get better for me, it, it's probably going to be just eight. I only wore eight make, makeup eight times the last month. So pro progress is not perfect, not even close. Uh, I only have, well, I have one rollout where I met my goal. And I'm going to roll out something before I hit my goal because I've already got my thoughts on it. But everything else is staying in. Let's start with the two that will be rolling out. My Buxom Goddess, or what is it? Buxom Divine Goddess Cream Highlighting Palette. I only use this one, the Venus. I used it my, I needed to use it four more times to roll it out. And I met that. I actually used it five more times. Um, so we'll be rolling in a new highlighter. I'm going to do that at the end. I'm actually going to do a roulette because I think that will make it more interesting and I will stop picking the ones that look pretty and look like they'll work for me and then, you know, won't be getting rid of anything. This way I might get something that won't work for me and I'll have to give, get rid of it, give it away. The other item I have that's rolling out, even though I've only did five out of my ten, is the Park Princess. Sorry, it's very reflective. Park Park Avenue Princess Chisel. Let's see how I can do this. We'll do it this way. I only use Princess Cut, and I did that five times. You can't even tell I've I've touched it, but I have. It's it's workable. I'm wearing it today. Um, but it is still a little too dark for me and I have to be light handed with it, but I liked it. I don't know what I'm going to do with the other bronzers in this palette. They're too dark, but I think I'm going to try when it comes to that point in my life where I can really focus on this. I'm going to just be working on these two and then princess cut and the others will unfortunately be ignored or used as eyeshadow. So those two will get rolled out and we'll roll in new things at the end. Next is my Cover FX Monochromatic Blush in Pink Dahlia. I really like this. Um, I did, I'm not using this one. I'm just using the matte blush. I only used it five times. Wait, where is it? Yeah. Five times. Um... I'm going to keep it in for five more uses because I like it and I love pink and it's one I'll keep using. I'll enjoy using it. Let's see. Okay, <laughs> this was a complete fail. My Hourglass Veil Setting Powder. It's just an itty bitty thing. But did I use it? Nope, just once. Only one time. I haven't been using powder. Uh, I'm using a different a setting... Uh, what is it called? A pressed powder for the under eye. And then I was going to use this for the rest of the face. But I haven't felt the need to powder the rest of my face. So this is just going to be sitting until I feel the need I need to set my face. I have, my skin has gotten very dry. And I think it's because I'm sick. So I don't need any powder. <laughs> it's dry enough. Uh, 
we're going to work on it. I have no idea how I feel about it because I only used it once. The next one, I am pleasantly surprised that I enjoy. I did a crappy job today, but I enjoy this. This is the NARS Liquid Liner in eye, the Eyeliner Stilo, Stilo in Nuku Hiva. It's this. It's a felt tip. Oops. Can't really see my progress progress in it, but I've used this four times. Like I said, I'm, I wore it today. I put it on in my get ready with me, and you can see how bad I failed. My, my hands shake, and today's a really bad day for that. And yeah, this is a lot messier and thicker than I really wanted it to be. Okay, my ColourPop Disney Designer Collection lip gloss in Boo. There's no, you can't see any change because I only used it three times. Shame, shame, shame. It's staying in. Then, what's on my lips right now with, underneath the lip gloss, I'm wearing a Fenty Beauty lip gloss with this. This is my Nude Sticks Intense Matte and Lip, Matte Lip and Cheek. Um in send nudes this was the alana davis Al alana davison and nude sticks collection she created this color that's the one i'm wearing um i only used this three times i wore all more pinks so i end up doing my uh lip liner well really I, I don't think I tracked it as well as I should. I only have my ColourPop Lippy Pencil in, ba um, in the color Bound marked for two uses, but I'm pretty sure I did more than that. You, I'm not rolling it up because you know how these things work. They end up, um, I haven't, there's no need to sharpen it or anything, but if I roll it up, I might end up breaking it, so I'm not going to do that. I can't believe only two times. I don't think I'm, I think it was three times, because whenever I used this, I used the, um, Boo lip gloss, and I did finally finish this, but it was just yesterday. I thought for sure I would have this out way sooner. And I can still see a little bit, but it doesn't, it won't squirt out. It just, it goes, pss, 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 but nothing comes out. <laughs> so it's done. So I, for the first time, I used this today. Uh, I don't like the spray on this. It, it shoots like big droplets rather than a nice mist. So that kind of sucks, but I'll use it up. I'm not going to be happy about it, though. <laughs> so I only used that once so far. And lastly, uh, my Tarte Found Sealer. I moved slightly. We had it here at the end of this tape, and now we're here. Not very far. I only used it five times. Uh, I only use a little bit, too, like one pump, and then I smear it all over. I try to use as little foundation as possible because that's what's best for my skin. That was everything that I've used through the month. I think we should... I'll grab my phone, and I'm going to... Do, I have all of my makeup, like, categories in a list, and we'll go by numbers. So we'll use the random app. Let's see how many, let's do highlighter first. Let's see how many highlighters I have. I haven't taken out the ones I've already used in this project, but I do have them highlighted. So if we roll that, we'll end up um, rolling again. So I have 55 highlighters for someone who doesn't like highlighters. So let's see. Random. Pretty random. We're going to say 2 through 55 because... So really I only have 54. Um, because I, the top line is not my highlighters. It's just like saying product on it instead. So 2 to 55... Let's see what we get. Come on. 
16. 16 is... Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid Highlighter in Prosecco Pop. I don't know. Yeah, that's going to be a hard one, but I don't know if you'll be able to see. That number 16 is Becca. All right, so we have that one. I think that's going to be too dark for me. I've never used a liquid either, so that should be interesting. All right. Now bronzers. And bronzers, I have 50. So it's 2 to 50. Let's see. Sorry. I know this part's probably pretty boring to you. All righty. See what number? 28. Twenty-eight is Tarte Better Bod. It's a cream mini. Okay. Let's see if you can see that. I will go grab those and we'll see if those are gonna work for us. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm a little worried. I got my, ooh, what is on here? Anyways, never been used. The soft mat of this is starting to come off. Anyways, never been open, never been used. This is the Becca Liquid Highlighter in Prosecco Pop. I hope it's still good. Um, I got this in a boxy charm. I would have never bought this because I know this is probably too deep for me. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You guys, I think I'm going to have to send this on to my cousin. So we're going to re-roll and we're going to remove this from my... See how it works? If we roll and something comes in and it doesn't, it's obvious it's not going to work, we move on. All right, let's see if the little Tarte Better Body Bronzer and Contour Liquid still has its little thingy on it. I hope it's not expired or anything because I don't know when I got this. We'll find out, won't we? Okay, took off the little thing. Ooh, it looks, it looks dark. probably used way too much. Let's see if I can, how it blends out. That might work like under, under, I, it's right here. Under my foundation maybe? Like I did way too much up here. Let's see if I can sheer it out. But yeah, even if it's like this dark, maybe it'll, it's got some chunks in it. Or that could be from the highlighter I had yeah I even if it's like this dark it might be okay under foundation I'm gonna give it a go I'm gonna try to only squeeze out itty bitty bits uh, I'm just gonna use it every time I do my makeup I'm not putting any I'm not gonna say like 10 uses or anything because we see how well that's going 10 uses is not happening so I oh wait we need to roll for another highlighter so the highlighter is 55 right 2 to 55 oops all right let's try this again five wow that will be an oldie let's see please be a good one Oh, I think it's a color pop. Color pop pressed powder padded down. Let's see if that. All right. Five. 
right I actually think that's right here in my um, right in my what do you call it magnetic palette I'll be right back okay I found it it's in one of my ColourPop magnetic palettes with all my blushes and such it's this guy I don't I've only swatched I've never actually used it and this is what it looks like on my hand which I think is very pretty it might be a little blingy but if I go with a light hand I think it's gonna be a very pretty highlight I'm gonna put that as a five use goal and if I can use it more than that great if not I'm not gonna cry about it <laughs> so we got a new highlight and a new bronzer and I think they're both this is gonna probably be a challenge but you know what sometimes you need to be challenged so we'll see how that goes I'll let you know in the next update I hope you're all doing great in your projects and I will see you in my next video bye